Designing New Approaches to Persistent Global Challenges. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 73. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for profit and non profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 51C3 Nonprofit Organization. This is our Weekly Progress Update number 73, July 25th, 2014 edition. As always, if you'd like more details, more specifics, uh, links to all the open source content that we're going to cover uh, discussing our progress for the last week with videos and pictures. If you'd like to see more details, visit our written blog. And if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we will add you to our newsletter list. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes California state education standards. This week, the core team, which consists of the satellite and pioneer members, finished the spring-themed lesson plan mind map you can see here, expanding in the background. We also set up the basics of the web page for this open source lesson plan. Behind the scenes, we also finished the final 20% of the lesson plan with the core theme of opposites, and another 20% of the lesson plan with the core theme of harmony, which brings us to 90% completion there. All these lesson plans are designed to teach all subjects to all learning levels within the context of the central themes, just like the one that you see here in the background with this mind map. If you'd like to help with this education program, we are seeking people to finish these lesson plans. We've got them all outlined, and we're just looking for the creative minds who would like to contribute something amazing to the educational world through our open source and free shared education program for all ages and all educational levels. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week the core team working on highest good food finished adding the diversity details to the heirloom and organic parsnip section of the large scale gardening page. We added 13 different parsnips and featured the 11 you see here along with also adding planting guidelines, cultural considerations, and purchasing details for them all. We also completed doing this for parsley, uh, adding 16 varieties total and additional details for the nine that you can see featured and scrolling in the background here. In this area of the project, we are seeking a master electrician and a master plumber, if you would like to help out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team working on highest good housing added remote internet rollout specifics for off-grid communities of 400 plus people to our open source internet setup page. We also added a resource section. The page is now a complete and comprehensive open source guide that is the product of over two months of research and work. We also updated all the 3D renders throughout the Earthbag Village sections of the website, complements the work of Devin Porter and also the work of Bupesh Sithala. Uh, this huge website update includes the pictures you see here of the complete village, three dome clusters, six dome clusters, ADA compliant three dome clusters, and the tropical atrium. In addition to this, we added an overview to the steps required for us to launch our complete crowdfunding campaign to our crowdfunding campaign webpage. These steps are a summary of over 80 hours of much more specific and behind the scenes planning and team organization as we continue to check off all the necessary action items to complete this campaign. Daku 
Uh, also finished the necessary engineering calculations for the earth bag village structures we'll be building uh, and you can see those in the background here. In this area of the project we are seeking a master plumber and a master electrician. If you or someone you know would like to help with this component of our open source creation process. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week the core team added complete kitchen and elevator details to our master energy schedule for the duplicable city center and the complete earth bag village. We also completed the first few scenes you see here of the duplicable city center construction in 3D video. This video is being created to showcase the results of over two years of 3D design work. And you can visit our blog to see it with music, more details, and a series of additional still images that go back as far as the initial architectural drawings of this structure. Also this week, Carl Harris finished the recreation of about six weeks of work lost due to a computer crash two weeks ago and added the addition of windows, to the cupola and a second entrance to the west elevation of the social dome. The image you see here is all the restored details plus the new additions. For this area of the project we are seeking a structural engineer and a general contractor. The structural engineer is somebody that we're seeking to help us design the cupola so it can be built without a crane which is very important for our open source goals and duplication anywhere in the world and the general contractor is needed for assistance in conjunction and collaboration with P2S Engineering, who is helping us with the mechanical, electrical, and plumbing section of this structure. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week in this area of the project, the core team finished the complete redesign and update of all content on the core value of contribution page that describes the one community model for global contribution as a path to individual freedom and positive and permanent change for everyone. One community is designing new approaches to persistent global challenges. More specifically, we're simultaneously addressing the very foundations, the infrastructure, the pillars of which a sustainable and self-sufficient civilization can be built. This means looking at the complete human experience and open sourcing and free sharing approaches to highest good food, highest good energy, highest good housing, highest good education, highest good economics, fulfilled living foundations, as well as true earth stewardship. And putting all these things together as a complete model that can be adapted and modified to fit the individual needs of small groups and individuals. Everything we're doing is designed to be implemented as either complete teacher demonstration communities, villages, and cities, hubs to be built around the world to teach others how to build sustainably and self-sufficiently also, or to be implemented as individual components. So that people who'd like to bring a little bit of self-sufficiency, a little bit of self-sustainability, a little bit of highest good thinking into their life can do so. And our idea is that if we open source it all, if we free share everything that we do and we make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate it as attractive enough, providing enough individual benefits for people that the things that we create will spread on their own, the ideas will become self-replicating and they will build the necessary foundation so that innovation, creativity, collaboration, cooperation can then take those ideas and create infinite additional iterations infinite additional versions of what it is that we're doing that will be better, that will be different, that will meet other needs, but they're all built on a foundation of this idea of creating a new paradigm and addressing the challenges of the future by looking at what we're doing right now in a way that thinks forward, thinks globally, and says how can we live and create for the highest good of all? How can, cre how can we create a world that works for everyone? This is it. The persistent challenges of this day and generations to come, they're going to continue to evolve and change. And so we believe that the solution to that is to create an open source foundation that also is designed to evolve and change. To start now, though, to be the change that we want to see in the world, to create the necessary foundations that we see, to take the information, the knowledge that's possible, to bring it together, to create a working prototype that people can visit, experience, and if they like what they see, they can take it and duplicate it on their own. 
This is what one community's open source philosophy is all about. This is what one community's highest good uh, consciousness and highest good mentality philosophy is also about. This is what we're here to do. So if this sounds fun to you, if this sounds interesting to you, if you're somebody who holds the consciousness for the highest good of all also, we invite you to join us, to get involved and help us create a world that works for everyone. This is what we're doing. We're being the change that we want to see in the world because we know that it is possible and we're not waiting for somebody else to do it for us. Our team has been working on this now full time for three and a half years. For me, this has been now over an 18 year process. And so as we get closer and closer to be able to, being able to build, our team is growing with more and more innovators, more and more makers, more and more creators, more and more connectors, more engineers and architects of the future, people that know that we can do better and want to be a part of creating that. History is happening right now. And so our idea is to take part in the creation of the history that will serve the most people most effectively and do it in a way that others can adapt and modify to meet their own needs so that the idea will spread across the world and create a better world for everybody. Positive and permanent global transformation within our lifetime. This is what we're up to. So people ask, of course, how can we help? How can we get involved? How can we help? Other than joining our team as either a pioneer member or a satellite member or as a consultant or a partner, you know, the number one thing that people can do to help us right now, the number one thing is to share our project. Specifically, we are still looking for large-scale funding, either a donation to our 501c3 nonprofit organization or an investment in what it is that we're doing so we can get the property off the market. If we can take the property off the market, this will allow us to legitimize our project to a whole nother level. It will allow us to become much more efficient in the highest good creation and all the infrastructure and everything that we're doing, all the open source creation that we're doing. And more importantly, it will allow us to build our team at an ex exponentially faster rate. Because we get emails all the time. People are saying, where are you going to be located? How can I participate? I'd like to come and work on the property. And we can't do that until we have the property off the market. So if you're somebody who knows buddy, somebody, if you're somebody who knows people, if you're somebody who knows somebody who you think could fund this, or if you are somebody who's really considering um, joining a, a philanthropic and humanitarian effort that is unlike anything currently in existence in the world, uh, we invite you to get in touch with us or to share our information with those people that you know that might want to participate in this too. Uh, to our knowledge, nobody's doing anything like what it is that we're doing. And so um, we're grateful. We're grateful for everybody that supports us. We're grateful for everybody that shares our information. You know, this idea of designing new approaches to persistent global challenges, world challenges, is uh, it doesn't really get any grander than that. You know, the vision is so huge. But we know, as we've said before, if we make it easy enough, if we make it affordable enough and we demonstrate it as attractive enough, that's what can create this idea of an evolution of sustainability that not only addresses the foundations of sustainability, of, of survival, food, energy, and housing, but also addresses the more cultured aspects of civilization and improves those areas as well. Anywhere that we can take this idea. And we're talking about improving education, the highest good economics aspects, the true earth stewardship, the fulfilled living pieces that really make what it is that we're doing magical and something different. And then open sourcing all of that. So, and we make it as easy as possible. We are on all of the social media networks. So we want to make it so that people can access our information in the way that works best for them. For them. So we are on LinkedIn, we are on Twitter, we are on Facebook, we are on Pinterest, we are on Reddit, we are on Tumblr, we are on literally uh, 15 or 20 different social networks. And so we invite you to join us and in the way that works best for you to continue sharing our information. We are so grateful for everybody. Of course, for all the small donations that we get as well, those donations help us to keep functioning too because all of our team are unpaid volunteers. Nobody on our team is, uh, is a paid volunteer. We're all doing this for humanitarian reasons because we know it's what's possible because we want to be the change that we can see, that we want to see in the world. And so um, those small donations allow us to cover our internet costs and just the basic foundations of keeping one community running and continuing to spread our word. So thank you for everyone who uh, makes the small donations. Thank you for everybody supporting our project. And um, until next week, we will... Keep on keeping on. Oh, yes. And of course, I always say we will keep on keeping on at the end. But if you'd like to uh, receive updates like this every time one comes out, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. and uh, Or you can send us an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com. 
and we will add you to our email list. So now, until next week, we will keep on keeping on. Thank you.